Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be part three of my Maze Plus tutorial series. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome to part three of my Maze Plus tutorial series. So this actually will probably be a relatively short uh, tutorial, and some of you may not really need this um, tutorial, but just in case, I'm gonna put it out there because I wanna go through every aspect of Maze Plus, and this is part of it. So we're gonna start working our way through the different crop types and how to plant them, harvest them, care for them, all those good things. So today we're gonna talk about probably the basics or the most basic types. So we're gonna talk about how to grow rye, uh, triticale, uh, spelt and millet and again tritical or triticale depending on how you spell it depends on where you're from or I could just be saying it wrong So that's what I'm gonna call it. It's probably tritical. Uh, so now you know what I'm talking about um, Inside the menu here. We're on Shellington Valley. So um, These are the different crop types we're looking at in here. So rye down here at the bottom. That's the the emblem for rye uh, So we're gonna look at growing that and actually we'll turn everything off except for the ones we're gonna focus on um, Just to make it a little bit more clear. So rye there and then if we go over here, we're gonna learn about spelt um, millet and uh, Triticle. So those are the ones we're gonna worry about. So we're gonna turn all of these guys off. And again, we will go through all these at some point. Um, so essentially, um, and I don't even think there's not hardly any of them growing on, on the ground here. So um, they work very similarly to wheat, barley, oats, um, canola, soy. They're basically a grain style crop. So, so yeah, in order to actually plant these crop types, so to plant rye, triticle, and spelt, um, you need just a regular cedar. You can either plow or cultivate a field and then use one of these guys. Um, but you can see the three emblems we're looking at down here for rye, triticle, and spelt are on the bottom bar here. And then to plant millet, you're gonna need a planter. Uh, so again, you'll need to cultivate or prep a field in some way. Um, and then we have millet down there at the bottom. So we'll be able to get that going for us here. So if we hop out of here, I don't have a planter actually with me, uh, but we'll go ahead and start off with just getting a couple things down. So again, it's all gonna be very similar. Um, this is this regular direct drill cedar. I'm gonna hit Y to select the crop type. So I'm trying to grow, let's see here, rye, that's one of them. So V to lower down, B to turn it on. And I am planting rye right here. So I'm just gonna do a strip of rye down the field. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, just going through the other ones and I'll bring a planter over to get um, uh, millet planted in as well. And now when I plant millet, I'm not gonna be able to do it on here unless I have a direct drill. So I can work on getting that. So essentially if you look in here on planters, um, the one that can essentially direct drill and could do all these, I probably should just grab this to start, but uh, Great Plains here, you can plant everything with it. But essentially you need a planter style um, in order to get what you need done here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all these guys planted just to get a strip of them in here. And then I'll bring you guys back in after I get them all put in. All right, welcome back. So I have everything planted. We have rye growing here. We have triticale growing here, spelt growing here, and then we have millet down here at the end. So millet needs a planter style um, cedar to, to use, and these guys only just regular cedars to plant. I ended up just going and getting a cultivator and then using this for all of them just to make sure they're all kind of at least similar sized and uh, everything like that. So um, with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and wait, and we're gonna wait for it to be ready to harvest, but um, let's talk a little bit about care for it. As you can see, fertilize 0%. So just like any other crop types, there's gonna be two if we go over to fertilizer states here. Um, actually, it says this whole thing, of course, um, is fertilized, but of course my crop says fertilize 0%. Anyhow, um, I think it's because this is the grass field that I'm plowing into, so it might've caused a little bit of an issue there. But anyhow, you do need to fertilize them twice to get the full yield out of them. That's not playing in seasons. And when weeds pop up, if you are playing with, if we go into the menu here, if you are playing with um, weeds turned on, I'm playing with them off, then you need to deal with weeds. If lime is required, you'll need to do it once every three harvests. If plowing is required, you'll need to do that once every three harvests. And if crop destruction's on, obviously they can be destroyed as they grow up and withering is on, they can die. Make sure you do have plant growth onto some setting here in order to get them to grow up. But uh, yeah, so now we're just gonna wait. I'm not gonna worry about caring for them. I just wanted to talk about that. Now we're just gonna get them up to where they're ready to be harvested by us. All right, all of them are ready to harvest now. This is what you're gonna to use to harvest, just a regular harvester. Um, as you can see, if we look into here, um, it has all those crop types down here. So wheat, uh, or excuse me, not wheat. Well, yes, it does have wheat, but uh, rye, triticle, spelt, and millets are all on here. And then if we go to look at headers for them, um, looking at the basic, or no, not an agar wagon, basic grain header here, you can see all four of those crop types are on there. So we should be able to harvest it, no problem. Um, so we are going to take a look and I'll show you which ones I uh, get straw and which ones do not So our straw swath should be perfect. It is enabled. So we'll go over here and we will do the rye first. So You can see we're getting rye as a fill type down in the bottom corner there 
As we go across, we're getting a straw swath from there. So you can see the harvest on rye is fairly decent. We're getting a, a decent amount from, from harvesting it. Now, if I um, go ahead and turn that off, we'll just cut around here. And then I'll go ahead and empty this out real quick. Oop, let's get over to the harvester itself. Empty that out, okay. Perfect, so now we're gonna go ahead and harvest the next crop here. As you can see, we're getting triticle down there in the corner. And again, this is a really high yield crop. Looks like even more than, uh, even more so than the rye. And you can see we're getting a decent sized uh, straw swath off of that as we go through. So yeah, we definitely got more than we did off the rye because we had what, about six, 700 there. Uh, but anyhow, we'll go ahead and let that finish unloading. We'll empty this out. And now we'll move on to the spelt, which is up next here. My John Deere's a little bit in the way. We can go ahead and harvest spelt, and you can see spelt starting to show up down there in the bottom corner. Um, as you can see, we got a decent yield off of that. Turn that off, and then we will move over to our last one over here, to our millet. I have crop destruction um, turned on. That's why you can see the damage there. I thought I had turned off, but I actually have it turned on. Anyhow. And we are now getting millet, you can see down there. And if you look out the back, we are not getting a straw swath from millet. So everything else is going to give us a straw swath except for the millet here. Uh, so there you go. Now let's go ahead, hop out of there. Now that we've seen kind of how, and look at these, these textures are great. So that's what the millet is looking like. Um, that's what spelt is looking like ready to harvest. Um, over here, the triticle has a nice kind of golden texture there. And then here's what the rye is looking like. Uh, so yeah, there you go. And again, we're getting straw on all of these except for the millet. So taking a look at that. And if we hop in here, actually, too, let's talk about the straw for a second. B to turn it on, we're going to go ahead and just pick it up, and it will just come in as straw. So just regular straw. We come over here. We're just going to get more regular straw. And if we come over here, again, Regular straw. So even though Maze Plus is running, there's no special straws for these guys. It's not like straw meat where they're all specific or anything like that. Um, but there you go. So taking a look at that, we got that done. Now the uses for them. So let's take a look here. So first off, again, we can sell them. That's first and foremost what you need to know how to do um, as far as everything goes there. Uh, so if we go down here, you can see Tritical. You can sell it um, for that price there. Rye has a price there. Millet and then Spelt also has a price in there. So there's different prices for them. Um, all ranging different values, but you're probably going to get close to what you're going to get for like wheat um, for a lot of these crop types. So hopefully now you know what you can do with these various crop types, how to grow them and everything like that. Again, if you have questions, drop them down below. If I miss something, please let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, change it in the next uh, upcoming videos in the series. But anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. That has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.